Hello people, this is Budrich. It's a new video, I call it Sublime Text Enabling Vintage. And this will be like first in, in, a, in a little mini-series inside the mini-series about vintage mode in Sublime Text. Vintage mode is a package that is, uh, comes with Sublime by default. You can find it in, in the opt uh, directory, you know, with, with the built-in packages. There it is, vintage, but it's also an ignored package, so it it is disabled by default. This is the only package that is disabled like this. And uh, what you get when you enable vintage mode is uh, VI navigation in, in uh, Sublime. VI navigation is what's used in Vim, it's also called modal na navigation, I think. You have different modes. You have insert mode, normal, where you insert text. You have visual mode to select text, and then you have command mode. And when you are in that mode, then uh, instead of inserting text, when you click a button or a key, it will execute different commands. And these commands can be chained together in in a very cool way. It's it's a extremely powerful, and it's uh, Vim and Vi. It's uh, this is what it's all about. This modal nav nav navigation, but it. Since it is so good, so such a powerful and smart way to navigate uh, within text uh, files and uh, yeah, even in non-text files. For example, I, ha I have VI navigation enabled here in, in uh, Vivaldi here by, by a, a Chromium Vim, CVim. So I can navigate with, with VI navigations he here as well. And uh, I can do it in... in uh, bash here for example i can write uh, hello and then press escape that will bring uh, bring me out to, to vi mode if i press uh, cc here for example that will uh, put me in insert mode well that will delete the whole line but uh, capital c remove to the envelope you know you know or maybe you don't know maybe you have no idea about vi mode or, or vintage or you don't even know what vim is then i really recommend you uh, check it, l l look it up what what is vim <laughs> i know there's one I, I i have a favorite video on youtube i i will find find it and and uh, link it uh, a favorite vim vi video it it's quite long it's like one one and a half hour a talk about someone who who have been using vim uh, for 3 years i think when he makes this talk but it's yeah he really shows the power of vim and uh, I highly recommend you watch that if you don't know what it is. That was one of the videos that really made me understand that I really should learn this. The, 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 I, I will benefit from this from the rest of my life if I just start using this. But it is very different from normal text editing and you have to kind of reprogram your brain a bit to start using this and, and really really force yourself in, into thinking in a different way about editing text. Some people find this very easy, some people find it extremely hard, they they would they refuse to, to even try it, and some people are like me, you know, stupid, takes a long time, but I'm stubborn and I, 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 I have kind of learned it now, and I'm... Uh, I'm very glad that I did. I, I, I really like this VI navigation and I use it everywhere as you can see in Vim, in Bash, in even in Thunar here I have a VI navigation uh, which I have created myself. But I can actually uh, uh, rename with C here for example, then we go into rename mode and, and stuff like that. It Because VI navigation or Vim or whatever we should call this, it it might look really cryptic here, just a bunch of letters, but all of them have a special meaning and most of them there is quite good logic behind it. And when you start learning this, uh, then it makes sense to have the same keys uh, doing somewhat similar things in other uh, applications as, as well. Whatever. Uh, I should also say that... Uh, the big difference here with vintage mode and vim for example is that you have no ex mode at all there are packages that enable this but i don't use this because 
this Vintage EX, for example, that is only available for Sublime Text 2. Vintageous, which is for Sublime Text 3, hasn't been developed in, in about three years. They have moved into this Sublime 6 instead, which is uh, um, just like Sublime. It's free to, to try, but you uh, need a license to, to have a... a if you want to continue use it. I, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but the thing is, I, I, and th this looks really good. It's it, it's under constant development and they update it all the time and it's it's probably a great package, but I have never used it. Because when I switched to, to uh, vintage mode, uh, I said to myself, uh, le le let's use this default vintage mode, even if it is a bit limited, even if we don't get any EX commands, maybe, I don't need the EX command because because I I didn't come from Vim, so it's not, it's it's not like I missed something. I, and and I know a lot about the 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 Sublime commands instead. You you still have the command palette, you know, and you can run Sublime commands. And maybe there are um, you can do the same thing as as most of the EX command does. You can do it by using the, the sublime commands and the multiple cursors and things like that. So, and I have actually never felt a, a need to, to uh, go away from vintage because I don't want things to break. And vintage works well and it's maintained by the uh, official sublime text crew, whatever that means, you know. And vintage, this package isn't updated uh, <laughs> often either, but it's Whatever, I use Vintage. To enable it, just remove it from this list of ignored packages or the best way, uh, search for enable package in package, uh, enable package in the command palette, select Vintage and now it is enabled. Now you can just press escape and it will bring, uh, take you to command mode and now uh, normal VI navigation works. Pressing capital D, for example, delete to the end of the line here. Or um, CC, change the line. Um, and all of the navigation works. There are some small things. Uh, R, for example, I think it's R in, in default Vim. When you press R, you go into a mode where you can replace text under the cursor. It, it, it's a bit weird. That doesn't exist. An EX command doesn't exist, but other than that, you get all, all, all of the navigation, and that is not a small part. And it works really well. It works really well with the built-in Sublime things like multiple cursors and things like that. Um, another thing that you don't get by default you have to enable it here vintage control keys because there are some some uh, all commands in in vim aren't uh, in command mode some of them are bon bound to control commands like this control uh, left bracket is escape control r is redo control y is scroll down one line but these keys they would uh, overwrite some of the uh, basic default uh, sublime key bindings for example control left bracket that is uh, unindent and control y that is redo and control f that is find you know if you enable these then then uh, a bunch of, of uh, default key bindings will break but i actually like to enable these also because i want to, uh, some of these I use a lot, for example, control Y and control E is something that I use a lot and I think other uh, vintage users also do. Control left bracket escape is something I never use, so this uh, in particular, th this I, I, I disable, but these two, for example, I use a lot. So I, I like to enable this and then you have to set the setting in, in your uh, sublime settings file. You can set it in, in this file there and now we can scroll with control uh, e and control d for example wh which are the ones that i i use uh, uh, most of all of them so if i press control e here now nothing happens because we are in insert mode and, and these keys even if they are control keys they only work when we are in command mode which i am now so control e and control y here but as soon as I go into insert mode, then nothing happens on, on these. 
And I don't like that behavior actually. I, I, I would like to be able to scroll uh, the document even when I am in insert mode like this. Uh, and to do so we have to modify the vintage uh, package a bit, remove that uh, context from, from the key binding. And there are some other things I would like to, to modify to make it uh, better. I have all, all, all of my modifications in my Budlime repository. You can look quickly what they are and then we, we make maybe one or two videos where I apply these uh, settings. One is this, Command Commander. <laughs> It's a stupid name, but what that will do is that it, it will always, uh, when Sublime loses focus or when a tab loses focus, it will automatically revert back to command, uh, uh, command mode. And I really like to, to have that, so I always know which mode I am in the document. And if you have to choose, this might sound weird if you have never used Vim or something, then you probably, well, uh, isn't insert mode, the normal mode. No, when you're using Vim and Vintage, uh, insert mode is not the normal mode. Command mode is normal mode, and that's what you want when, when you enter the documents. And that's another setting you can do to, to, to have a Sublime start in command mode also. But I think that's unnecessary if you use Command Commander, then it will automatically start in command mode. It will always reset the cursor to command mode when, you, uh, when it loses focus. Very simple, just a couple of lines here. Whatever, super easy to enable that. Then I also have this weird stuff here, disable arrow keys. This will disable all the arrow, arrow keys. I, I added this just to force myself to use the VI uh, navigation more. But uh, even now that I, I, I know them and, and, use, and don't want to use them anyway, I, I, I just find it, I like to have the arrow keys disabled. I don't want to, to even have the opportunity to, to use control shift uh, right to select words like this. Because once you start using that, then you stop uh, using the VI navigation. And especially in, in the beginning, if you have never used Vim or, or... Whoops, I dropped the microphone. I hope that wasn't too weird noise there for you, sorry. Um, disable the arrow keys, trust me, it's very good. And also it adds some, some special functionality for the tab key. So even if the arrow keys are disabled, well, I, I don't disable the arrow keys for this menu, but I, I, I also give the tab key the ability to, to, to uh, navigate here up and down with tab and shift tab when you have menus like this. And that's as easy as just adding some special key maps here. We will look into that next video. I have some more... Uh, Mm, yeah, I have a sidebar thing here, that uh, so we can use Vintage in sidebar and, and toggle the sidebar with the keys and stuff, we will enable that. Vintage Finder is for the Find panel to make that even better. V vintage Sanity, the, this adds a, a bunch of, yeah, modifies a, a, some of the hotkeys. For example, that Control E and Control uh, Y, so, so we can use that everywhere and also some, some more here it's not that much but we take it in a separate video i try to make all, all of these in one i think uh, and then i have the vintage package my uh, itself with some disabled uh, key combinations and commands whatever so that is what vintage is it might look weird but i strongly strongly recommend you trying it out uh, and and uh, you will see it, it, it's good stuff uh, because i uh, after this sublime series i will uh, make a little vivaldi series but and as I said here, I also have a uh, Vim, C Vim here, Chromium Vim enabled here. I use Vim everywhere except for Vim itself. <laughs> That's the kind of guy I am. Weird, weird person, I guess. It's Linux, it's proprietary, it's Vim without Vim. Whatever. I'm free. I'm free to do what I want, you know. Thank you for watching. I think Dr. Dirtac will, will come with a great Dirtac here before we enable these things. Uh, but 
till I see you the next time. Have a great time unit. Bye bye.